Hey cuties and welcome back to Cutie Nails where everything we do here is all about nails. So cutie patooties, I have to say it, this is going to be my second to last video before it's baby day and I already went ahead and started um, working on prepping my nails and it's going to be how I'm going to, well if you would like to extend or change the shape of your nails using builder gel and dual forms and i really wasn't going for length on this i just wanted to change the shape into a more square shaped i guess um and i really really love how this turned out so as you can see i'm just applying just a little of my Pottle Builder Gel into the well of the dual form. You can use any dual form. This one is pretty curved. So I recommend, you know, if you have a more straighter dual form, try to keep a lot of the product towards the middle of the dual form and not on the sides. Like you guys can see, I was making sure the product was on the sides as well because with a straighter dual form, it's gonna kind of like spill out and you just really don't wanna to have to deal with a lot of excess product. So on this particular finger here, this finger is just very crooked and like I, I just have to like be more mindful when I'm doing my own nails on making sure that it's straight because the last set I did, like I swore it was straight from one angle and when I turned it around, it was just super crooked. So this is a good tip to help fix the shape of your nails if you wanna do that and definitely to add length to your nails. So I'm just gonna treat these as though they're nail tips. I'm gonna be very gentle with them. Very, very, very careful because it's not a lot of product. But I'm just gonna inspect the dual form, make sure it's filled in. I'm gonna lightly press it down onto the nail and I'm gonna use my handy dandy lamp right here in order to cure it into place. Once it's all cured, I'm just gonna go ahead and safely remove that dual form or that pop it off of the nail but you know when you're applying it make sure you're getting it on there as straight as possible it's going to leave like a little lip at the cuticle part of the form but it's okay i am going to go ahead and file all of that down so once all the nails have been applied i'm just gonna cure it for a full 60 seconds to make sure this really nice and cured and then I'm gonna go in and make sure that the shape is what I'm looking for, that everything is nice and cleaned up. Cause like I said, I'm treating these like they're nail tips. So after removing the sticky layer, I'm just gonna take my hand file and lightly file the side walls and the free edge to get that shape and the length that I'm looking for. I'm looking at it from all angles just to make sure that it is perfect as possible and like i said with my practice hand in my last video like getting this shape annoys me using the practice hand but it was so perfect on my own nails and it's probably i thought maybe i wasn't used to the shape it's just the practice hand y'all so i'm just gonna buff over the surface with my 240 grit um buffer on my e-file and i'm just going to clean up anything that's under the nail that's spilled out and this is what helps me achieve a new shape on my nails without having to use tips and with just using builder gel and dual forms and this is what we're looking like once everything is all put together what you can do here is add another layer of your builder gel but since i'm getting ready to do a set for you guys i'm just gonna clean off the dust from where i file shaped and buffed it and I'm gonna add a layer of base coat and get ready for the next set. I hope you guys like this. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope it was informative enough for y'all. I hope it was slow enough for you guys and I wasn't speeding through the process. But if you have any questions, just put it in the comment box below. Um, hopefully I will be able to answer you guys if baby isn't already here. And as always cuties, I'll most definitely talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.
I thought that was it, cuties, but this nail right here, it throws me off so bad because my finger is oh so, so crooked, but the nail is actually straight. It just looks weird because, you know, it's clear builder gel that I used and I can still see my natural nail beneath, but every time I turn it, you know, just looking at it from all perspectives, it is actually straight. Now, if this is your first time happening on my channel, I wanna welcome you. I hope that you would subscribe for more videos, more tutorials, and just to see my nail journey overall. To my loyal cuties, I love you guys so much. Thank you for always watching and supporting. To my nail sisters out there, love y'all. I'm watching y'all videos. I may not comment, but I am definitely watching. Trust me, one of those likes are mine. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, love y'all and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.